All right. I'm asking you for this, a list of the things you've got to do in order to be a disciple, in order to be a Christian, in order to be saved. I'm asking you for the list of works that you're teaching we've got to do. And I know you know this. I'm asking you for a list of works that we must accomplish in order to be a Christian. Okay. So what, what we have to do? Go to church, get baptized, read the Bible, not sin, not see that R-rated movie or whatever it is. Is there a list of things that we've got to do as a Christian or, as, or to claim to be a Christian in order to keep our salvation, obtain our salvation, because you certainly are teaching. We're justified by faith in a ceremony in the baptism, and you're saying you've got to be a disciple to be saved, which is saying you've got to stop these sinning in order to be a Christian. Well, what else have you got to do in order to be a Christian? Well, you have a what, list of things that you're teaching what you've got to do. What I'm simply doing with the, the most you're straightforward, not by faith. So, straightforward scriptures possible. You're not I'm, doing that. I'm simply saying if I could, I, I, if you want to speak, you can go ahead. Well, thank you. You're not doing that. You are giving me a list of things that you have to do in order to be a disciple, in order to be a Christian. You're saying you have a set of works you've got to do. This makes you a flaming heretic. You're teaching not justification by faith alone in Christ alone, but by faith in Christ and baptism and not doing this and not doing that and you've got to do this and you've got to do that. That is what we teach the cults teach, and Roman Catholicism teaches. You're no different than them, and no offense meant, seriously. But what you're teaching is damnable heresy. You're causing people to go to hell because you're requiring of them a set of stipulations and works that you've got to perform in order to be saved. You're taking them away from Christ. This hurts me to know that you're doing this, and you're going to go to different places, and you're going to be teaching these people these lies from the devil, and teaching them you've got to do these things in order to be saved. We do nothing to be saved. God grants us repentance. He grants grants that we believe. He gives it to us, and as a result, we follow Him. As a result of our regeneration, as a result of our change, as a result of the saving work of God, we do these things. Those aren't the things that save us. Being a disciple isn't what saves us. What saves us makes us a disciple. You should know this as a teacher of the Word. You should know that this is the case. Having therefore been justified by faith, now go follow Him. Now be a disciple. Not to be a disciple in order to follow Him and be a Christian. Because you're teaching nothing more than Roman Catholicism and His doctrine of salvation. So tell me, you say we can't do this, you can't lie, for example. Can't cheat, can't steal, which I would say, don't do those things. But what must you do in order to be a disciple of Christ, which you said you need to be and do in order to be a Christian? So what are the things you've got to do to be a disciple that makes you a Christian? You must make Jesus Lord of your life. Lord of your life. What else? The moment that you make Jesus Lord of your life, this is not like saying abracadabra. This is I'm not, not like saying is. hocus pocus. Lord of your life. When you, when you say Jesus is Lord, anyone living at that period of time would fully understand that you entered into a slavery relationship with Christ and you're going to obey everything that Jesus commanded. What are you going to do? Not only are you going to you going to obey everything Jesus commanded, but you are going to teach others to obey everything Jesus commanded. What have you got to do? Be a Lord. I, I've else? already I've already answered your question. Okay, so you must read your Bible. You you're 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 trying to get a list of uh, things you got to do create a list and what i'm trying to answer the question is in a biblical and spiritual okay. perspective i'm saying that the moment you make jesus lord of your life you must do everything in order to be a christian 